Welcome to the second video. This is just a review kind of the week. I messed up on some of the streams, so I wasn't really able to get everything I wanted. And rather than just pilfer through four to five hours, I decided to make a quick review video of what I've done so far. This is a kind of cool location. If you're able to jump down there, there is a chest. You get a really sweet looking sword. So I wanted to kind of highlight that. It's in Macquarie. I'm over to the east of the uh sorry westmost uh beacon i don't know that spot i can show you guys at some point if you guys like uh but just wanted to kind of review some things that i got these are all the pets i have i'm kind of learning those now so i went to our guild uh bank or our guild vendors kind of bought every pet that we had unlocked figured that would help with the uh collection and i did get some transmog items i'm deleting those now i'm gonna start leveling the druid first also learned a few mounts. Um, these are all things that I had purchased on gold that I had made. Um, about over 100k just from farming herbs and uh, selling really vendoring stuff. What's kind of nice about Argus is that uh, there is quite a lot of uh, AP items. So I used to reward artifact power for our artifacts and I got the achievement for 10 mounts. Um, but because of null and void now, you get these uh, gray items that either give 10, 25, or 50 gold. It's a really nice way to kind of stockpile gold. Also, there's a lot of items that I already had um, that I kind of got from World Quest and stuff like that. And I'll be selling those too. But it was a really, really, really great way to make a lot of gold. Um, I have some items kind of going through now. Uh, I'm going to be selling some of this stuff as well. And then what I'm going to do is, in a few minutes here, I'm going to kind of highlight items we have. Um, like my percentages and all the things. So what I plan to do was, is I'm going to power level, or level as fast as I can, a paladin, a druid, a warlock, and what was the male class? I can't really remember right now. But really I'm just fo focusing on, or actually my DK, my demon hunter. My monk, warlock, paladin, I think I forgot one, Probably, and the druid as well. The other classes I'm going to kind of save for later. So as I go through things, that's one of the sword. that's a sword you find in this uh, this area down here. It's kind of cool. Um, another thing I wanted to kind of point out is a great way to earn more mogs is by doing these road quests, you get Veiled Argonite. And by earning Veiled Argonite, you get a chance to get items from the vendor in the Vindicar. So what's really, really, really cool about that is, is it's like 50, 50 somewhat items per piece that kind of come from the wealth of Legion items. It's kind of nice. Um, but the, the goal is, is I'm going to start leveling certain tunes. I uh, kind of showing my achievements here, but we're going to start with the Light Forge. Draenei Paladin, and my Druid, uh, he's going to be a Worgen, and then we're also going to do the Death Knight. Then from there, there's going to be a, a Dwarf Warlock, because our guild needs one, and then kind of go from there. Um, as of now, as you'll see in a few minutes, I did unlock the Lightforge Draenei finally, and I'm wrapping up the Void Elves. Uh, that Argusian Reach, I really need to get the rep for them. So that's kind of taking some time. So the next step is start leveling some of these tunes and going through the starting zones and just getting all the mogs and everything for each part. I was looking at the warg and I made him a druid. That was kind of nice. I got the light for it I achievement. Uh, so when you make a druid and you make a warg and there's certain greens you can get from quests. Now my thought is every time you do a zone based on your armor class there's certain drops you can get. So I am going to um, finish the Worgen Druid starting zone but then once I get that complete I'm gonna go back I think I'm gonna have to test it but I might have to make a plate a male and a cloth wearing Worgen just to get all the green logs from that zone but I think what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna wait until I level up at least one of each class of each armor class excuse me that way I can kind of see if those quests uh, rewards might come from different sources so hopefully I won't have to level four separate organ just to get all those but if I have to it's okay so right now I'm going through my pets 
when the ones are added to my queue. Now I did purchase uh, the collector's edition um, digital were all on sale. So Warlords of Draenor, Legion, and Battle for Azeroth. So I did purchase those and then I went back and bought the Starcraft 2 collector's edition where I get my favorite pet of all time. So I will show that in a second here. I did get a fell last year from getting uh, getting the fell crusted herbs. Um, I think that's what's called fell encrusted herbs throughout Argus, and it did drop on the twenty sixth time. I want to say this guy I just bought in the store from getting Argusian Reach. I want to say, and then here's the new pets I got. I also used rematch, so I had a hard time figuring out how to unwrap them. But then I realized you just left click on the on the left pane. When it comes up in the big one, you just click right there. So this is Zeradar. He's kind of neat from StarCraft 2. Um, uh, this turtle guy is from BFA. Um, let's see. What else do I have there? Nibbles is from Legion, the collector's edition. So he's the pet you get for that. And this is my favorite pet of all time, Mini Thor. He just looks cool. And if you're standing there idle, he does have jetpacks and kind of flies around. He's kind of neat. Really had a good time with that. Um, and these are just two more pets I got. Uh, one's from Warlords, and then Baneling's also from StarCraft. Uh, mounts I have, just kind of showing what I got. That's from the guild perk. Um, so just, and I did get the six month subscription, so we have that as well. Um, had to get that mount. Although someone said his arms are too buff in the front. When I saw that, Kind of can't really unsee that. And these are just the other mounts I picked up from our guild and then the collector's editions, respectively. Uh, I do have some mogs. I got the mogs up to level 60 for my druid. I'm going to get the plate cloth. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to wait on the male ones or not. I don't think I need them too much. Uh, but, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to go one step at a time, you know. Uh, that toy is pretty cool. It moves really quickly I was kind of screwed up I should have went should have measured this a little better but I could have driven this to the area down that I wanted to go but I definitely missed it and trying to get back I was being stupid and killed them so but you get the gist that's kind of cool toy there's four toys I have so far two of them are from a, an Argus rare and I think that rare drops three it's a red blue and uh, I want to say yellow they're kind of neat. Um, here's just some of the mods. I Through Legion, some of the set pieces do drop from the uh, Veiled Argonite. So I just kind of wanted to highlight that. And I just went through all my mods for right now. Um, so the goal is to finish Argus with my Hunter. And then start leveling these four tunes. That way I can start really doing some of the old raids and completing some of my content. It's kind of focused for right now. Um... Just kind of going everything after week one. I didn't really stream as consistently as I wanted to, but I still got a good amount of stuff in. I I think. Um, I think at the end of this video we'll show where my all the things percentage is at. So once that's finished, we we can be good. Um, and uh, and the I'll add to this video to the uh, secondary portion where. Um, I use the Veiled Argonite, but I do have a good collection of weapons so far. So, the other thing I want to talk about was, I came to Argus, and I was really, really, really struggling. Some Most of the quests were fine, but it was getting the invasion points done. Greater invasion points were rough, just as it was, but I decided to stop at 110. I went and quested all throughout BFA, hit 120. Uh, my goal on that was just to make myself more powerful. Then I came back and I was actually able to solo uh, invasion points. You can see right there I'm at 2.78% so far. And this kind of shows the zones in Argus where I'm at. Um, each zone's percentage. So that includes everything. Achievements, pets. I uh, don't think there's any mounts in there. But it does include the, uh, the quests and the drops. Which is the Unsullied gear. Which I have most of that anyways. But... A lot of things I still need to pick up, but we'll 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 get it in time. Um, but I have increased. I'm almost at three percent total in the game, which isn't bad for you know just a week. Um, but I but back to the uh, 120 point. So I hit 120, came back, and I was easily able to conquer the quest really fast. And I felt like at 110 I was a little struggling a little bit. 
However, the, the main perk from that was being 120 and having a few pieces of gear from Naz Jatar, you can easily solo invasion points on your own. Uh, it made it a lot simpler. There's a quest in Illidan where you have to complete three invasion points and one greater invasion point. And I felt like having all that extra gear just made it a lot simpler. So thank you for watching the second video. I will be posting, posting a small component about Veiled Argonite after this. But I hope everyone has a great time. Continue to play World of Warcraft and we'll see you soon. Just wanted to make a small addendum to the last video. If you go down to the bottom area in Argus, there's one of these, um, I can't even remember what they're called right now at this point. Um, but anyways, he's a vendor. Uh, go ahead and uh, check him out. Um, what you can do is, is you right click on him and this is the currency you need. It's the Veiled Argonite. Get that from World Quest and looting any treasure chests and usually killing rares. Although you mainly get them from the chests. So I focus on a specific piece right here. And I was focusing on the shoulder. Let me sort my bags real fast and sell all the crap I don't need. Um, I did sell quite a bit. Uh, just vendoring grays that you find in Argus. There's quite a lot more now. Especially with the AP being dropped from your artifact weapon. Um, just kind of clear through those. So I've been focusing on the shoulder first. And I'm sitting at 20 of 29. So you exit out. You open the item. And then, of course, since you're not going to use these crystals anymore, you go ahead and uh, sell that right back to them. That's what the shoulders look like. You know, it's not that great, but there are some nice pieces in here. So, just kind of wanted to show that for everybody. I hope that helps out. Uh, appreciate everybody watching. Uh, continue to enjoy playing, and uh, I'll take it from here. Thanks, guys.